Welcome back, Brigadine fans. This is Double Seventy Seven Sugar here, and you are watching the Battle of Baden Hill, where Drist's forces of Bagdamagus, Daffy, and what's the other guy's name? Uh, let's see here. Gallo. Oh, sorry, completely forgot. But uh, yeah, I'm. Um, they're uh, attacking Romagia. And they're going to finish off Neomechia on this turn. I apologize for the uh, very short gameplay. It's only about uh, seven minutes long. Um, but I lost the um, the audio and the video. It got kind of messed up somehow. But uh, yeah, that's um, probably going to have to fill you in on kind of what happened so far. Uh, basically, I went after Meligant um, along the plateau line, and uh, he decided to come up through the opening where the plateau is uh, from his area. And um, he came after, uh, I think my uh, my Jin dude, and uh, made it pretty easy for me because I had uh, I had to react with my fairy here, so I was able to react bomb out two times do a breath attack, um, you know, have uh, my call to, you know, swing around, hit him once, and the Jindu hit him too. Plus, I think the High Centaur did take a crack at him. Uh, so, yeah, it um, that's kind of how it went, and uh, that's how it went down, and Milligant uh, got kicked out. Um, and then kind of the rest of the battle has pretty much been, um, you know, to the point where, you know, I kind of get to attack a few times, you know, don't quite get to kill everything off right away and uh, then after that um, you know it just it seems to go the uh, the video seems to go crazy at times I have no idea why it's doing this uh, I, I think it was I think the Pinnacle Studios was trying to have me do an update of some sort and um, yeah it's just it it's not uh, working very well so yeah I don't know uh, yeah, uh, there really wasn't, um, you know, uh, there wasn't really like a huge strategy going on in here. It was kind of like a lot of brute force, trying to push my way through, trying to kill off a few monsters. Um, the Hydra kind of got stuck there. Uh, it's it's kind of difficult to get through this area unless you have a lot of air, you know, flying creatures because of the plateau and because of the forest there. Because as soon as you get to the point where, you know, they're just about to start attacking you, you know, okay, well then they have to move through the forest slowly to get there, or go around through the plateau and get stuck, um, it, you know, and maybe not really get to your forces where you can really do battle too well, um, or you have to try to, you know, fight through the, uh, the forest and have your air creatures go, after, go over the plateau because, well, let's face it, that's the only thing that's going to make it over that. Um, you know, your dragons and your other things aren't going to really make it over that plateau range. So, um, that's kind of what you need to do. You need to take your air creatures and uh, send them over the plateau, and then all your land creatures, they have to trudge, um, you know, they have to drudge through that, uh, that forest there. Um, you know, and that's kind of how you need to get to it. So, it can take some time, especially if they have a decent force. Um, this battle, I found, it does take some time. You could play very defensive. And you know, throw something out to like a ghoul, a sacrificial bait, as I call it, and um, you know, just let them chomp on the ghoul, and they come after you, and you've got a nice defensive wall, and you can do that. That would definitely work. Um, but this is my assault team here, so I'm going to have them assault. <laughs> That's just how I'm going to have them play. Um, yes, I could have picked up this uh, this fairy here, but I already have a really kick butt team, and uh, they do really really well. And I've had some plans as far as how I'm going to tweak the force, you know, for Drist's forces going after Escarez, because that's the next thing in the list. That's the next thing in the lineup to go for. And uh, as you saw in a previous video with my defensive force, just Drist, Thor, Lucifer, and Satan. Or Satan, I however you spell it, how you say it. <laughs> but just those you know, just those four attacking forces, I defended from Gish, Escalados, 
um, yeah, Escalados, Gish, and Kador. And they even had Kador do a better attack on Drist still. It still <laughs> defended all that with all of his monsters, just four attack attacking units with the leader. And if they kill off Drist, I have to retreat and possibly lose Thor, a Satan, a Lucifer, or the Pegasus that I had there to help heal up and, and that stuff. Um, but, uh, well, you know, just with that force, I did that well. And that was the first time I tried it like that. Never tried it like that before. Typically when I play these games, um, typically when I play this game in particular, most of my monsters will not die. I know how to use them effectively, you know, push them around back and forth. Uh, typically they won't. Uh, sometimes the game will surprise you and, uh, pretty much Zemeckis is one of the ones that uh, surprises me the most and uh, you know we'll, we'll do tons and tons of damage um, but yeah as far as this goes uh, pretty much knocked out New Omechia and that's kind of it for that um, sorry I couldn't show you at the beginning but uh, just kind of the way things went um, but still you know pretty decent assault to just try to push through those forests and uh, you know, if you're playing this, just keep pushing through. You're gonna have to, because <laughs> uh, it's it's a difficult battle to get through just because of the terrain. Um, and it did slow down my assault force, so you know, just because of that, it's uh, it's still a difficult battle. Um, but yeah, next team to go after is Escaris. So I hope you enjoyed watching, and um, yeah, this is uh, Double Seventy Seven Trigger here, and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.